Hi everyone, um, so, I don't know, this is kinda gonna be a video on my favorite perfumes, and if you guys are into fragrances and smelling good, please stay tuned. If not, you could always, uh, click the X, um, and not watch the video, but if you're interested, please stay tuned. So, yeah, I'm gonna start. Um, I don't think they're gonna be in any particular My favorite, and this is my all-time favorite, I've gone through three, no, two, sorry, two bottles of this already, it's Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture, and it just smells, I don't know, it just smells so, so good, mm, and I don't have any of it left, like none, and these, this is the only perfume that I actually, um, finished, um, two bottles. I never finish any of my fragrances. I have like maybe like 25 uh, perfumes uh, laying around on my little um, display over there, but none of them are finished. But I finished two of these because I love it so much. It's really, really great for like summertime. It's really good for um, spring. Um, it's not really a winter fragrance, but whatever. It smells really, really good. Like really, really flirty, girly. Um, like that, like juice, juicy, fruity um, fragrance. It's just really, really nice. And plus, you can't beat the packaging. The packaging is so nice. But anyway, um, then I have the Lolita Lempica perfume. And uh, let me just show you the bottle really quick. Um, the bottle is gorgeous. It's like an apple. I don't think you could see that. It's like an apple. See? And it's purple and it's it just has the most beautiful um, artwork and detailing put into this perfume. See right there it says Lolita Lempica. And I mean it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And um it smells really, really this one's really musky. Um but it but, it, it, but it's a really, really beautiful blend. Um, let me just, you know, this is how you, like, spray it. So that's pretty cool. Mm, see, okay, when you first spray it, I wasn't really fond of the smell when I first sprayed it. But once it dries down, it becomes, like, a really soft, um, beautiful floral and musky fragrance. And, um... I mean, you have to let it uh, dry it down because it's a little bit like overpowering sometimes. So you can't really wear it in the summertime, unfortunately. But it's a really good uh, winter fragrance. So I like Lolita Lempica a lot. Um, and these are not all of my perfumes. Just to let you know, I have a lot more. But these are the ones that I actually use the most, I guess. Um, next is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And I've used this one a lot. Um, this one's really nice for like uh, the the summer and springtime. It's beautiful for the springtime. Um, to me, it smells like spring. <laughs> it's like a really, really light white floral fragrance. Um, I'm not really sure of the notes, but I'm sure it has daisies in it. And that's what I smell. I smell daisies, but it's a really, really nice light fragrance, and it's fresh, so it's not like overpowering or anything like that. And so, if you like um, fresh and light florals, then this one is definitely for you. Um, sorry, I keep reaching because um, yeah. Um, my other favorite is this uh, Versace signature one. Um, yeah, this one smells really, really nice, too. I thought I would like it. I thought it was going to be, like, a little bit more sophisticated. I thought it was going to be more, like, uh, Chanel number 5, which I don't really like. I don't like it at all. I like it on my husband's mom because she knows how to wear it. She only sprays it, like, once. Um, and then just, like, walks through it. But, um, a lot of people don't know how to wear Chanel number 5, and it just, like... 
smells really, really bad and overpowering, and yeah. Um, but this is very, very nice. This is very fresh. Um, it's a very light floral fragrance. It's fresh. It smells really, really nice. Um, the dry, dry down is beautiful. Um, yeah, so this is the Versa Ver like Versace by Versace. Versace signature. Um, so yeah, I like this one a lot. Um, and then the last two um, is the new Chance by Chanel Au Tender. See, it says Au Tender. Whatever, you can't see it. But it's the pink one. They have like one that's like yellow colored, which is the regular Chance by Chanel. But this is like, um, you can't really tell. But it's pink. It's like pink liquid inside. And um, it's really nice. Uh, it just came out like um, probably around like two, three months ago. I might be mistaken though. But um, this is a really nice fragrance too. It reminds me of the ones that I just um, showed you. Kind of like the Versace Signature kind of, um, it's definitely nothing like, um, definitely nothing like the first Chance by Chanel, which is, like, really, really spicy. This one is more of a light, very summery, light, crisp fragrance, very girly, very feminine. I really, really, really enjoy this one, and, um, I just bought it recently and um, I used a lot of it oh, I love this one this is probably like my sec second favorite to the Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture so I definitely um, recommend that one um, and another winter uh, fragrance that I am absolutely in love with and I actually hated it when I first um, when I first tried it a couple of times I actually hated the smell because I don't know I just I guess I didn't like patchouli or whatever but it turned out to be one of my favorite perfumes it's Angel by Terry Mugler and I don't have any left and it comes in this like black little pouch um I got a set of this so I got like the shower gel and the hand lotion and body um lotion too and this is the refillable bottles so I could refill this but this is mm, it smells so good it has like chocolate notes and it has patchouli in it some of you don't like patchouli I guess you should stay away from this because this is a very very powerful fragrance if you want to stand out if you want to be the center of attention like if you go out to a club or whatever this is the proof perfume that you would use um, because all heads are going to be turned towards you in a good way and some in a bad way because a lot of people I know don't like patchouli and I think I've said that like a hundred times in this video. Okay, so since I, um, I covered all the, um, all my favorite female, um, fragrances, I'm going to add one for males in case males are watching this video. And, um, my husband's favorite and my f personal favorite for him is Burberry Touch for Men. And it looks like this. And it smells so freaking good. And it's for all seasons. Like, it can be worn in the summertime, in the springtime, in autumn, in, in winter, whatever. It's really, really universal scent. It's so good. I love this one. Um, on my husband, I also like the YSL uh, for men. That one's really good too. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, uh, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.